Hello, everybody, and welcome back today. This is by far the biggest update to Minecraft because now we have boats that have chests in them. Uh, can I wait a second? Um, here. Oh, oh ooh, look at that. Okay, so we are in the Minecraft preview. This is, what number is this? I think it's 29, 28. I don't know why I count up and then down, but yes, it is. Uh, 1, 18, 30, 28, or 29, depending on if you're on the preview or the beta. And uh, there's been a few things added into this. Remember, this is a beta. It's not the normal version of Minecraft. If you go to look for this and try to like play it yourself, well, you're gonna have a hard time because it's the beta, like we're saying. So, uh, there's a few things that are added, but we're gonna start talking off. We're gonna start, we're gonna start talking off. We're gonna start off by talking about the boat with a chest in it. And this was something that we kind of saw during Minecraft Live, and here it is in the game. So, it has, uh, if you just search for boat, you can find all the normal boats plus a boat with a chest, and this works very, very similar to the minecart with a chest inside of it. So if I hold down shift here, I don't think I can put this down yet. I need some rail to set this down. This w looks and kind of acts exactly the same. Um, the Even the behavior of like the chest doesn't open. We don't get that like, okay, you know, thing that we normally get with a chest. Where's a chest? Here's a chest. Oh, that's, I, I, I always hate how, uh, the texture looks in the inventory. It doesn't look like the, the Java, but here, right? You get the sound and everything. Well, you don't get that over here with the minecart with a chest. Same thing with the boat and a chest. Now you do need to hold down shift in order to open it up because if you just click on the boat, well, now you are in a boat and there, you know, that's the, how the boat works if you want to get inside of it. So I assume, I don't have a friend to play with me, but I assume that uh, that takes up the slot of the second person who could normally be in a boat. Um, and, you know, normally you can fit two people or a mob. Here, let's see. Can I put a mob? Okay, chickens, don't fail me now. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so the chicken is in, in there. And because the chicken is in there, I cannot enter the boat. In fact, that's kind of interesting. I don't have to, wait a second, if I click the back of this, oops, sorry, I hit escape to, to get out of there. No, okay, I <laughs> did it again, oh my gosh. Um, wait, I can hit space to exit the boat? Oh, that's not how that works on Java Edition, that's crazy. But there we go. So now that there's a mob in there, what's interesting is when I click the boat, it knows this is full, this is a full boat. You can't get into it, so the next action is to open the inventory, that's kind of cool. So if I want to open over here, I have to hold down shift uh, or I have to sneak, which is, you know, a whole bunch of different buttons on uh, on a whole bunch of different versions of, of Minecraft. But there we go. So uh, how do we make this happen in our uh, survival situation? So how, how do we actually craft one of these? Well, it is pretty simple. It works just like the minecart in a or a chest in a minecart. And that is in the crafting table, you uh, put them together. So you put whatever boat you want in there. You notice the texture is changing on the boat to whatever type of wood type I am using. And then the output is your chest in a boat or a boat with a chest. Wait a second. Is the minecart named minecart with chest boat with chest? Okay, good. That would have bothered me a lot, but they're the same, that's okay. Another thing that I kind of showed off briefly at the beginning of the video, but I didn't really talk about it, was that while you're in the boat, you can also hit your inventory button, and that will bring up the inventory of the boat and in the chest. So you can just get to it by hitting your inventory button. That is similar to how it works if you have a donkey that has a chest on it, um, or if you wanna access the inventory of a horse while you're riding it, you can just hit your inventory and then there you go, you have the, the full inventory. This is awesome. I really, really like this. And uh, it seems like a, uh, a fun thing to be able to just carry around all that extra uh, stuff, especially early game when you may not have shulkers, you may not have ender chests. This is a great way to go exploring with a boat and then have a small amount of inventory with you that doesn't clog up, whoa, uh, doesn't clog up your player's inventory. 
One of the other new features in this preview is the deep dark biome in Bedrock, which I'm excited to see what it looks like in Bedrock Edition. But unfortunately, Bedrock Edition doesn't have the same tools that Java Edition has, and there is no locate biome command, and there's also no spectator mode, which means I can't fly through the walls. Uh, and that makes searching for this biome incredibly difficult and frustrating. Please, Minecraft, add these tools for creators. It helps us make videos so much, and uh, it becomes very frustrating to just search around and search around for a uh, long time. Long, long time. So I'm going to continue the search for the, <laughs> these biomes. Uh, wish me luck. Oh, my gosh. I think I have found it. Holy cow. That, uh, that legit took, like... 20 minutes for me to find holy cow okay so i'm very frustrated but i'm gonna we're gonna push through it here is the deep dark biome this is uh i believe kind of similar to what it looks like now on the java version where it's not just little blobs now it's an actual like kind of you know a biome that like just keeps going and going and going similar to lush caves or the dripstone caves this would be basically the third or maybe fourth cave biome if you just classify just a normal cave as a biome. Looks cool. I'm seeing really all of the blocks here so far. We have, of course, the vines, the skulk vein, I guess, not vines, but vein, skulk vein. We have the skulk blocks. Those are those ones. I've seen some catalyst. I've seen some uh, some of the detectors here. So uh, really, the shrieker is the only one that... Um, we would need to find or like really call this like okay we found them all um but i think the shrieker might only be in the ancient city maybe not um now if you're wondering where's the warden oh my gosh okay so we have the uh skulk blocks where is the warden uh the warden is not added into the game yet so no warden as of right now i wanted to do this command to kind of see is there any other i don't think so i got that Block perfect uh, right there. I don't see any. This is kind of a small. I wonder if all of the biomes are small compared to. Oh, well, here's another entrance over here. Okay. Um, compared to some of the stuff, or maybe I just got unlucky with uh, with finding these. But uh, that is the natural deep dark biome in Minecraft. That's pretty cool. The LA has also gotten some changes. If I can just tame this last one right here. Come to me. No, I don't want to put down a block. There we go. Okay. So we have all, uh, we have these three LA right here. Um, so some of the changes are that after tossing blocks at the player, they will wait a moment before they try to pick them up. Now it looks like we are having some, some issues here with not the same LA, but a different LA trying to pick up a block that a different LA is throwing at me. But that does seem to work a lot better. Maybe if I gave them all different things to hold instead of the same thing. Yeah, here, let's uh, let's try that. We'll give everyone a different type of stone here. Okay, now let's see if this works a little bit better. We picked up the entire stack. It's all going to me, which is fantastic. Great, wonderful. So that uh, sort of like instant pickup thing, that's been fixed. The other thing that has been fixed is that now the LA will only pick up as many items as it will hold. So before there was kind of this bug where like it might try to aim for a different type or like a subtype of item and it would get bugged out on it and it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. Now that has been fixed. Another interesting thing is that now apparently they will stay close to the note block that they are attached to where before they would kind of go all over. So they just kind of, I guess, chill out near the note block that they are remembering and that means that they shouldn't follow the player. Yeah, so they're not really following me as much. They're chilling out next to that note block. They're treating the note block as if it is the player instead of following the player no matter where they go. Before we had to like enclose them in glass to make sure they wouldn't fly away. Uh, but now if they're attached to a note block, then they'll stay right next to that note block, which is nice. So you could walk away and, and not worry about them flying off on their own if you had a timer set up uh, for this note block. It also kind of seems like they maybe, maybe not. Uh, it looks like they've locked onto me. Okay. Uh, I was wondering if uh, even if they had AI, if it was past the 30 seconds, if they would chill out here or they would fly away kind of like when you first find them, they'll just wander wherever they want. 
can't tell what's gonna happen here. Maybe let me observe for a moment. So definitely the 30 seconds has passed. Looks like all the LA's found me. <laughs> they searched out and found me. Uh, I don't know if that's because they, they wandered towards me. Or if, um, see, if I get too far away, the like, see how the mobs are just disappearing? They're a little AI. Did this guy find me? Why does he look like he did find me? There he is. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Those other ones look like they've despawned, but I think that if I roll back over to them, yeah, there they are. Oh, they're acting super. Come on, little guy. Follow me and let your little friends over there just chill out for a second. Let's see. They seem to be, I'm not sure what's going on there. I can't tell if they're, if they're going away or not. <laughs> Um, but that's something that we need to experiment with a bit before we can like completely trust them to chill out on their own Because if the redstone clock gets broken do your delay just fly away, that'd be crummy And one more thing that I find very interesting is now once the LA is tamed the player can no longer hurt the LA Which seems like if I come on over here, and I try to give you a punch is that, that that doesn't work, but this is awesome actually. I'm gonna switch into survival just to make sure that it's not a creative thing. And yeah, it looks like I cannot hurt, I can hurt this pig, but I cannot hurt the LA, which is great. So if it accidentally flies in front of my face while I'm attacking a zombie or something like that, I will not accidentally hurt this guy. That is awesome. Oh, I didn't know you could do that by punching it instead of just left clicking. I love that feature. Like friendly fire has been turned off for the LA. And a very small change for those of you who are on bedrock, this doesn't really apply to uh, Java edition like in the future. But with an ax, it has a special ability when you are doing PVP. If you come across a player with a shield, you can actually perform a critical attack on them and then the shield will drop for a few seconds. It's a good way to get past someone's shield if you really have to uh, when you're doing PVP. And that parody, is, uh, which used to be a feature in Java, that is now parodied over here on the Bedrock Edition with this, uh, bet with this update. Now this is a kind of a small update to be honest. Uh, and I guess it's, a, it's just because they're happening so fast because we just covered the, the all the new goat horns and the copper horns. Oh, um, from uh, from the preview before. So if um, I, I mean it's not a lot. It's basically boats, the LA changes, and that axe uh, situation, and that's it. That's all that's in this uh, in this preview. I have a video coming out uh, soon about how to get the preview yourself if you want to play on the preview. It's much easier nowadays with it being a preview and not a beta that you have to sign up for. Uh, much, much easier. So stay tuned to the channel for that video coming out soon. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a future video. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about this video? I want to know in the comments down below leave a like on it. I'd really appreciate it. And if you like Let's Play style content, I'm playing through a whole bunch of Bedrock maps over on Facebook. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.